Hi everyone, welcome back today. How things have changed since we last spoke. I think this is gonna be a long video. I, I'm not 100% confident in that, but usually they are. We're doing a big old update. I'm gonna show you how I've rearranged our room upstairs, talk about quarantine life, where I've been, all the things. So it's probably gonna be long. Grab a drink. I'm clearly feeling better if I've got a gin and tonic. Um, but it is evening time. It's going on for seven now. So where have I been? I think I've missed what like three weeks now two weeks It feels like forever of Videos for good reason. I was very sick if you follow along on Instagram or on my community tab here on YouTube um, I did mention that I've been quite ill uh, <clears throat> With what I'm not totally sure in the beginning. I was 100% confident. It was just the flu but when I initially got sick, had all my major symptoms, was um, before this whole corona thing completely blew up. So I thought for sure I had the flu. Still don't know what I had. I haven't been tested, but could have been. <laughs> could have been corona. But as you can see, I am alive and well. I've come out the other side of whatever I had. But yeah, it's been a rough couple weeks. I was literally sick for, I think, three weeks. I think it was the beginning of March, the first couple days into March. I had a major fever and like couldn't get out of bed. I was taking Tylenol every four hours on the dot. I could literally feel the Tylenol, Tylenol wearing off and my fever starting to spike again. That was a horrible day, but it was just one day. And then over the weekend, it was like a Friday. Over the weekend, zero symptoms. I was 100% fine. We had some beer, we made dinner, I had all my energy, totally fine. But by Monday, I was, oh, neighbors. By Monday, I had what felt like a cold dripping running nose like I had to keep tissues in my nose because I couldn't even stand up and look down without like water coming out of my nose sorry if this is all TMI it's not for me because obviously I have a nursing background it's not really gross to me yeah and then I was sneezing I felt like my head was gonna crack in half fevers were gone but I had like zero energy so after the cold stuff kind of wore off then my biggest symptoms were extreme exhaustion like I could not go up the stairs without needing a nap and I'm usually not a napper could sleep all day all night which is very unusual for me and then the other weird thing that they've now been talking about a lot in the news is um, in all the reports about coronavirus and whatnot is that I had complete loss of sense of taste and smell still don't have it back it's coming back slowly but I remember I was cooking something one day and I was like why can this has zero scent to it but that is like the weirdest thing. It was like all of a sudden I could not smell a damn thing. I was actually kind of freaked out. I was like, what's going on here? So I was running around the house trying to find things that I know had a strong scent to them. I was smelling my perfumes. I was smelling Ken's whiskey, um, a few other things. And literally it was just like I was smelling fresh air. Like everything smelled like air and tasted like air. It was the weirdest thing. And yeah, that was like two and a half weeks ago now that, that hit me, so. They're saying it's linked to coronavirus, it can be an early symptom or a mild symptom of coronavirus, but who really knows, right? It's all We're all learning about this coronavirus thing. <sighs> so yeah, I may or may not have had coronavirus. <laughs> an interesting few weeks. Luckily Ken's been working from home and I'm a homebody anyways. Plus I was way too sick those first two weeks to go anywhere. Ken was playing Mr. Nurse for me. Thankfully he was doing all the cleaning, all the grocery shopping, bringing me all my meals. Um, being just a 10 out of 10 husband, but yeah, I think I'm pretty well back to normal Taste and sense of smell slowly coming back. I can kind of taste the bitterness of the the gin and tonic here I've been putting salt on everything so that's slowly coming back But I'm probably eating way too much salt because I have to put a ton on to be able to taste it So yeah, other than that we've been doing well actually the grocery stores here aren't too crazy by the evening, I would say the toilet paper's gone, but the Dutch, I think, are pretty chill people. The city is definitely quiet, and everything has shut down except for grocery stores and pharmacies and the liquor stores, I think. But I've literally been outside for about a total of maybe two hours in three weeks. So I haven't really seen much of the outdoors, but from what I hear, it's quiet and spooky out there, um, which is good. It means people are staying inside. That's the only way we can stop this. We need to remove the humans from the fact, the equation here so that the virus does not have anything to live on. So yeah, hopefully we'll kick this thing in the butt and we won't have to be quarantined all summer. That's the name of the game right now. If I had not been 
sick for the last three weeks. We certainly would have wanted to jump on a plane and get home to be with family right now. It's certainly hard to be on like a nine and a half hour flight away from family, away from Ken's parents, my mom, uh, my sister and her boyfriend. It's hard to be this far away from everybody when something like this is going on. So yeah, if I wasn't sick and we weren't, didn't have something going on, we may have jumped a flight to get back home <laughs> and be quarantined over there for a little while. Hopefully all of you are doing well, um, staying inside, doing what we can to stop the spread of this thing. <sighs> it's a wild, wild world that we're living in right now. Um, it's gonna be weird to see how this all pans out over the next few months. I can't stop thinking about all the people that are gonna be affected by this, the job closures, of course, everything like within the virus of people getting sick and dying and everything is horrible. But on top of that, um, people just not being able to buy food or diapers for their babies or pay rent for the next few months. Like, I don't know how, how this is all gonna work out, but it's scary times. I mean, it's not, it's like guilt basically that we're, he's able to work from home. I'm already at home. We're not in any trouble in any way. We're able to just stay inside and keep ourselves safe. And then there's the nursing side of it too. Like I feel horribly guilty that I'm trained as a nurse. And when you sign up to be a nurse, you, you're lining up for battle, right? Like whatever comes your way, you're running towards the danger while everyone's running away. And obviously I'm not in that right now. Um, following a lot of my old co-workers and old threads, nursing threads from my hospital in general, nursing threads, um, and they're all talking about what it's like to be on the front line and I just feel like I should be in there, I should be doing something, but yeah. It's a weird place to be. Ken's certainly glad I'm not there and that I'm at home and safe and now healthy, <laughs> but uh, part of me certainly feels like I should be doing more. On a more positive note, um, thankfully I am a homebody. I like being at home, so quarantine really isn't that hard for me. <laughs> um, but one thing that we have done is tried to make the absolute most of our space here. So now Ken's working from home. He has been for uh, weeks now. He's not really picky about his space that he works in. So he decided to take the desk from the second bedroom and move that into the bedroom. He set up all his monitors, cords, and all that kind of like ugly eyesore stuff in there. And he's happy being able to just take his meetings and do all his stuff in there. And then we kind of set up the second bedroom as an extra hangout space, common area for us. So I kind of rearranged all our decor and made it more of like a little cozy hangout spot. So I'll show you guys what that looks like probably tomorrow because I'm rapidly losing light here, the sun is setting. I've been spending a lot of time up there and Ken really likes it too. So he comes in, comes in there and just hangs out for a little while, a little break space for him other than this spot. So obviously he can work here, he can work in the dining room, he can work in the spare room, he can work in the, in the bedroom. So he has lots of areas to go and areas to stretch out and change, change the scenery for a little while. Plus it looks really pretty and it was fun to kind of change it all around and grab bits and pieces from down here and make it all work up there. A few other good things that have come out of quarantine for us is that I am learning to cut Ken's hair. <laughs> We've actually thinking about, been thinking about doing this for a little while now, but I've just been sure I'm gonna screw it up. And he was always like, ah, it'll be fine. Like, just go for it. And I was like, you gotta go to work tomorrow. I better not. Of course, I had a few gin and tonics one night and he was like, you should, you should try it tomorrow. And I said, okay. I'll do it. So we pulled out our little kitty scissors and I watched a few YouTube tutorials and I went to town. <laughs> and it actually turned out pretty good. There's no bald spots and it was a free haircut. So I think there's gonna be a lot of wives around town, <laughs> around the world, that are gonna be learning to cut their husband's hair. So it's not just me and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I just went a little bit at a time. <laughs> Another thing we've been doing is our own little going out to the pub but not the pub, <laughs> creating our own little cocktail hour, usually around seven, when Ken wraps up um, most of his meetings and whatnot. We meet up in the spare bedroom, we light the candles, we choose some music, we put our phones and our computers away. Ken makes us some drinks down here, brings them up, serves them, and we do our own little cocktail hour upstairs. Yeah, it's been really fun, just kind of like create a separate little space, even though we can't go to the pub. We're kind of feeling like we're going to the pub. And right now the sun sets at around 6.45, 7, so get the nice beautiful sunset, candles, nice music, and a drink. Doesn't get much better than that. 
it's been a nice little time together in the evening that we've been really enjoying. <clears throat> trying to like set that as part of our schedule to try to keep a normal life a little bit. And it's something to look forward to in the evening too. So yeah, quarantine hasn't been too bad for me yet, but of course we're in a very lucky situation, like I said. Um, we're not, you know, at each other's throats yet. <laughs> we quite enjoy the extra time together, actually. He's in, in his office majority of the day. He just comes out for some breaks here and there. But um, yeah, it's actually, I mean, it's early on in my actual quarantine self-isolating time because I was sick, like too sick to even leave the house if I wanted to those first three weeks. So um, now I'm feeling like a normal person where I could actually get up and go out and do things. This would probably be the time where I'd be hitting up the local thrift shops, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. In terms of what's gonna happen with my channel here, I don't really know. Everyone keeps saying, oh, I'm gonna go business as usual, or I'm gonna take a break because of what's going on. I think you're gonna get a bit of a mix of things here. I'm going to try to vlog, but if I don't feel like vlogging, I'm not gonna force myself to. Obviously, this is a very weird place we're all in right now, but I think it's gonna be a mix of like, if I feel like fi filming a haul or like sharing things I've bought while sitting at home online shopping, then I will. If I feel like talking about how I'm feeling about quarantine and what's going on in the world, I will. And if I feel like just not filming because I'm feeling bummed out or whatever it is, then I won't. I don't know what to expect for the next few weeks, months, and so, but I feel like it's just gonna be a bit of everything. I'm not gonna completely ignore what's going on, but I'm gonna to try to keep some sense of normalcy and bring you some kind of content that is a bit of a break from the news coverage that is all in our faces a lot of the time, a lot of the day stressing us out. Um, but I'll pick the camera up again probably tomorrow or the next day and show you what we've done with our spare room and who knows what else. Good morning, as promised, here we are in the second bedroom, the revamped, new and improved, whole new space. Feels like we have an extra spare room in the house now. I have spent the whole morning into the afternoon sitting in here watching YouTube videos um, on a very glorious, sunshiny day. It's weird, we haven't had a single drop of rain since this whole thing with COVID-19 has started. But um, I'll show you what we've done so far. Go back to the beginning here. So walking into the second bedroom, this is what we're working with right now, um, has very quickly become our favorite, favorite place in the house. We both love sitting in here now. It's not really that different from what it was, but for some reason with the desk in here, it has completely changed the whole feel of the room. If you can remember before, this dresser, it's not new, it was just here before all the same stuff along the top other than one of the purses that I didn't quite like on the top there. Um, so I moved that over here. Um, so it just feels more of like a dressing room, fun. I don't know, just more kind of like a playroom, I guess. <laughs> An adult playroom, that sounds bad. So this was moved over closer to the wall here. I just moved it down to fill in the space. And of course, I've got all my favorite things. I've kind of revamped what I've got on here. I still need to buy a few more wooden hangers. That kind of drives me nuts when I look at this, but I love the colors of everything in here. All very tonal and earthy tones. This is one of my favorite things. You would have seen this in an ASOS haul recently. My bright orange jumpsuit, boiler suit, oversized uh, jumpsuit that I love so much. Love this guy. Hopefully it's still available and I can link it down below for you. And it looks great in the room to add a little punch of orange. Um, you guys remember this coat I got in Vancouver at a thrift shop, one of my favorite shops in Vancouver. I haven't really worn it that much, but it does bring me joy. So um, <laughs> I love it. I'll probably get more use out of it once the weather is more spring-like, which we're into now, as you can see. Uh, but I can't go outside. So it's just living here on my little rack for now. <laughs> Yeah, and then I just have some blazers, some cable knit stuff, and my denim jumpsuits. Got two of those. Can't wait to wear this guy again. Coming into spring, I'm going to layer it with like a white blouse underneath it. I think that'll look really cute. And then with moving everything down to this end, close to the wardrobe on this side, I had a big blank spot here, and I thought it would be a perfect spot for a small vignette of a little 
chair decor. It doesn't really serve any purpose, really. It's just to kind of fill in the space. I love the tone of these chairs. It's kind of like a really natural, oh, it's looking really yellow there. Um, natural, slightly cool toned in most lighting <laughs> a chair. It's one of our dining room chairs, actually, but we have six of them. Really only need four at the dining room table, so I stole one of those. Ken has the other one at his desk in the bedroom. These uh, shoes are quite old, very old actually, probably three or four years old. They're from ASOS. I've only worn them a couple times, but they are just so adorable. Velvet pink shoes. Um, I've used them in a few of our apartments as decor because they're just so cute. My five-year-old self would have called them my party shoes. I had quite a few like these when I was a kid and they were my party shoes that I wore to birthday parties. And then I have my little Chanel bag there. I did have it up on this hook here originally, but it kept falling off and it was driving me crazy. So it became part of this little setup. And then down here on my the bottom half of my wardrobe, I just pulled out some of my sweaters. I did some reorganizing and refolding kind of perfecting all my sweaters and my wardrobe in big white wardrobe. So um, I just pulled out a few that I thought worked well on the bottom here. And obviously another pair of little shoes there, same kind of style, also thrifted. I actually got these in Paris. That was from my Paris thrift haul. So yeah, it all kind of works well together. I think I might actually switch this sweater down here and bring this one up. Cause I think that one just looks a little bit busy maybe. Anyways, so yeah, the wardrobe and or the dresser ended up on this side, carpet followed. Uh, this is where it lived when it was over here. <laughs> and I added one of our lamps that I found. Actually, this one was on the desk here. And then there's another one that I haven't done anything with up there. Everything on top of the desk or the dresser is remained the same. Just kind of girly, decorative, pretty. Um, lots of little clips and earrings and things that I never wear, but I like to look at on these little wooden trays that I got from Blocker for a couple bucks each. And a couple of my few favorite purses, the hats stayed there. There's actually already were pins in the wall. So, um, that worked out kind of perfectly there. And then I grabbed this little box from downstairs in the living room. Uh, we now have a TV stand as you would have seen in my last vlog. <laughs> been in there for a couple weeks and I got it just in time because if I hadn't got it before this whole coronavirus thing uh definitely wouldn't have had anything probably till the summer so that happened just in the nick of time but as you would have known that I had two boxes as a tv stand <laughs> so these needed new homes the other one stayed downstairs but I love the linen-y kind of look to this it has kind of a wood coloring to it but it is a linen and then I have my ivory hat on top this I actually got from ASOS Marketplace. It was a one of a kind, snagged that. I think I got very lucky with it. Um, but there is a hat that I tend to link down below that is very similar. It comes in a couple different shades and is a reasonable price point if you're looking for something for spring, summer. And then inside here is my little stash. I can show you this because uh, Ken's not here right now and he doesn't really watch the video. So he will not know that this happens. If you don't know, Ken has the worst sweet tooth of anybody I've ever, ever, ever met. So zero control. If he sees anything that has any kind of degree of sugar to it, he will eat it. So I hide my stash there and I usually have a couple bites of things in the afternoon after I've had lunch. Um, if he knows it's there, it's just never going to be, there's, it's going to be empty. So let's not tell him. <laughs> And then on this side of the room, I left the same little drawers here. This just holds a lot of tech stuff, um, lenses and tripods and all that kind of stuff. And then on top, I have my watercolors, I'm trying to get back into that. Now that we have even more reason to be at home, a pair of blue light blocker glasses. These are from Movement. You'll see more of those in another video at some point. Dried flowers. These are very, very old now. Um, but they dried perfectly. I love the color that it adds to this corner of the room. A little journal that I never use. And then we have my Himalayan salt candle and a few extra little tea lights for when we have our cocktail hour. Um, Andy's, Andy's bar, Andy and Kenny bar at 7 p.m. every night. So we light the candles. We pick a theme for our Spotify playlist. Last night was the Stranger Things list that we found it was quite good and yeah that's plenty loud we've had that thing for years love it 
and yeah just our ikea couch on this side so come sunset we've had a beautiful pink purpley sunsets for the last few nights it is so pretty in here this room is amazing it's probably our favorite room in the house now <laughs> it feels like you're in a little tree house like it's just the coolest room yeah oh and then i added a vintage not vintage thrifted uh blouse because just because i like the color that it adds to the room so yeah that's just one thing that we've done around our place to make the work from home both of us working from home during quarantine a little more comfortable enjoyable um it's a very much a multi-purpose uh works for both of us kind of space now and yeah we love it I know a lot of you are like me and love the home decor stuff and moving things around. It's, it's always exciting to like rearrange your whole room. I did that as a kid too. Like you'd feel like a new person. I'm gonna put my bed on the other side of the room and I'm gonna put my nightstand over there and just feels like you're in a whole new world for a couple of weeks and then you wanna change it all around again. Uh, so that's kind of how it feels for us. Just something new and exciting to create a little bit of difference in your space. If you're starting to feel that cabin fever, might be something to try. Kind of shop your own stash, use clothing to decorate your space, and um, just like pretty bits and bobs. You can just pull from wherever, all around your house. And if you have a space in your house, um, like a spare room or something like that, try to reinvent it and make it something different than it was two weeks ago. <laughs> Fun little project. In addition to all the other projects and crafts and spring cleaning that we're gonna be trying to do during quarantine. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. Am I recording? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell because um, my videos are probably going to be hidden because I haven't posted for a couple weeks now. So I know, I know for sure YouTube's going to hide my video, this video from a few subscription boxes. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Like I said, I don't know what is to come in the next few weeks. Like the whole world is completely unknown right now. So I'm hoping I will continue to post every Saturday. Make sure you follow along on Instagram if you're not already. It's just at Andrea Claire. That's where I've been posting um, over the last few weeks. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you did like this video and what you liked about it. I always love to hear that feedback. Um, this is definitely, it feels like it's all me. And sometimes I'm posting things and I'm like, I don't know if that was any good. So any feedback would be awesome. And I think that's it. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.